or stop in a couple of weeks' time. But Bailey Webster has left the East Link Center here with, with quite a few points in his bag, team points over the last couple of years. Solid defenseman, as we said in the pregame uh, show that we did, and guy that went to a Bruins camp in 2016, just rock solid defensively. We'll watch him and keep an eye on him here this afternoon as Alexanderoff belted from behind by Robbie Burt. Goes undetected as Burt given a ride there by Brett Budgel. As Budgel and Burt collide with one another, the 16-year-old back after it. Budgel then given a ride by Riginato. As Riginato works his way back up ice, Drew looking back at him as Clavel returns to the lineup here this afternoon for Charlottetown. Alexandrov watches his man. That's Burt as the puck will turn and that one off at the weight because Hardy was offside as Gerard will cross it for LaRose. LaRose goes through for Poirier. He'll just lift it in, make changes here. Islanders with time. Olivier Desjardins, he scored in St. John on Thursday night. The stalwart who's been an outstanding addition at the cost of a seventh round pick has really, really solidified this back end here for Charlottetown. As Alexandrov overskates it, Riginato giving a hack by Alexandrov. They let that go. Riginato. A character player, 20-year-old as well. We'll move it ahead. That one through for Boucher doesn't work. Brett Budgel will turn a fire back in. One thing's for sure, if you're on the ice and Reginato's on the ice, you better oh. have the, the high beams on. Yeah, you got to look out for uh, Reginato. Side, Pascal Acan will use his weight and body down low. Sends a pass in front. There's a shot. It gets blocked as Alexandrov. It was blocked by LaRose who read that one. He'll quickly play it back in the Islanders' territory. 12.30 to go in this first period. Scoreless in Charlottetown as Joseph will move it ahead in next Sunday afternoon. A lot of families in town taking advantage of that four for 40 deal here at the East Link Center. As the Isles break back up, Joseph took a high stick there by Pare and lets the shot go. That one trickles wide of the target. Brett Budgel will work around one man. Budgel works around a second. Budgel trying to get a shot off, unable to do so, loses his twig as Safin. We'll leave it for Paré. Paré a pass in front. They tried one pass too many, and Alexandrov didn't see Budgel all in behind. Everyone couldn't find it. It's going to be Ostap Safin being hounded by the 16-year-old Brett Budgel. Left it off for Radim Salda. His lead feed is chipped into the corner by Vesterinen. Saku Vesterinen will come back for the Islanders. Turn it over, and Safin looks for a, an opening. Islanders Vesterinen strip the puck here once again as the Isles trying to work it to the right of Matty Welsh. Sibley will drop it in behind the goal. Alexandrov pokes it ahead. Sullivan Sparks will settle it down here for the Islanders. This is the top line for the Sea Dogs. The Islanders have to be aware. It's off the boards and out, trying to make changes. Brendan Sibley. Quebec road trip, and he seems to be uh, the next great goaltender to come along in for St. John. So uh, that's one name to look for down the line for St. John. And his budget will reverse it in deep. Gentile has it for the Islanders. Gentile tries to go through the middle and nearly got through the skates of Poirier, who closes that up in a hurry. It's off his skating in deep. Matty Welsh will leave it in behind the goal for P.O. Joseph. He'll get it ahead for Brett Budgel. Budgel and the Rose up on top of him. Here's Alexandrov. Walks around one. Alexandrov fires and scores! Take a look at the highlight here, the replay. You want to talk about a pro shot. Yeah, he just... Right there, top shelf on that blocker's side. And, you know, he does so many small things. He does them, uh, you know, very well. He's good in the face-off circle. He's good defensively. We'll settle things down in behind the Islanders' goal. And Nikita Alexandrov has the one nothing goal here for the Islanders, his 11th of the season. Alexandrov playing his best hockey of the season, trying to chip around. Solda, Alexandrov gives it. Budgel walks to the outside. Budgel fires right on. Save is made. Rebound in front and Alexander. Post has he hit this season? I mean, he's hit a ton of posts, had a lot of scoring opportunities. I think now things are, are going his way. Islanders, Brett Budgel has Salda draped all over top of him. Paré is in there as well. Islanders trying to kick it free. Paré will leave it in behind. Salda steps in front of his goal. Salda, great skating defender, will move it ahead for Paré. Paré leaves it, Safin fires and that one. Welsh closed the door in a hurry on that as Budgel goes into the corner with Ostap Safin. And Safin and Budgel hack at one another. Islanders will get it through, Gentile touches it around Salda, here's Gentile, speed down the wing, Gentile trying to cut in front, Salda two hands him 
Gonna be a penalty coming up here to the Sea Dogs and Hunter Drew. Got a power play goal Thursday night as well. We'll settle things down. Playing on the back end with Daniel Herder. They go with Brett Budgel and Alexander off along with Gentile. As the Islanders played in behind the goal. Gentile will dig it out free for the Islanders. Leave it off for Daniel Hardy. He's got room to walk in. Hardy will fire that one. Caught a man in front. Loose puck. They jam away at Alexandrov. Throws it in front. Gersoy. Good patience right there as Gersoy will take it and airmail it out. We've seen a lot of players in that position panic and turn it over. Gersoy, good patience right there with 30 seconds to go. Islanders. On the four check now, Gerard will cross it for LaRose. LaRose just turns and flips it right back into the Islanders zone. Nothing going here on this man advantage. The Sea Dogs blue line LaRose. The Sea Dogs turning things over like crazy. Defensively, Alexandrov will cycle it off. Here's Pascal Lacan trying to get around Gerard. Gentile will leave it for P.O. Joseph. He'll cross for Noah Massey. He'll fire that one right on. Good pad save made by Doria Gentile. To the blue line, Joseph keeps it in. Alexandrov trying to get around Gerard with under a minute to go here in this first period. We're tied at one, Gentile. No one really working for the puck. It's just kind of tangled up in the skates. The referee wants them to move it. The two players are just standing yeah, there just talking standing to there, each yeah. other. That's why I wouldn't blow it down. They want to play like that. Let them hold it there the whole time. And Bird is already trying to make a move around Nathan LaRose as LaRose will come back for the Sea Dogs, lead feed for Saffin. Saffin, bumped there by Brett Budgel. Budgel, 16 year old, he's in the middle of everything. Yeah, him and Saffin, they've locked horns a couple of times in this game. Here's Gentile trying to make a move. Gentile, good defensive play there made by Salda. The run him out of real estate as Gentile stops skating. And Salda able to get back into position. Here's Budgel, good patience. We'll leave it down low, Alexandrov takes a stick up high from Boucher, it's to the blue line. Great job by Hunter Drew to knock that one down. Wrist down deep. Robbie Burke turns it over. Here's Gentile. Gentile works to the outside. Gentile fires a shot. That one off the shoulder of Dorio. Islander send it deep. Alexandrov bumps there with Radim Salda. The goal scorer is in the hockey game as Salda finds Robbie Burt. Burt steps to center. We'll toss it in on the far side. Hunter Drew leaves it for Clavel. They throw it back, and Drew nearly tipped that one into his own goal. Hunter Drew will stick handle around. Robbie Burke, nice move. Drew takes it. He had another opportunity in the slot there, and he passed it off to Vesterine, and then Hardy was in good ice. Should have shot the puck. That time he did, and like you said, Corey, that just missed by mere inches. It's Alexandrov looking for it. Good shift there by the Islanders. Got to start directing lots of traffic in front. And Dorio. Lots of traffic there. I'm not sure if he got a piece. LaRose shovels it around for Cedric Paré. His feet through the middle. Saldo, they have numbers. Saldo will take it across the blue line. Hunter Drew strips him of the puck. Drew will pick it back up. Saldo all over top of him. They move it through for Gentile. That pass doesn't work. Here's Paré. Budgel steps into him. Clavel will move it ahead. Clavel leaves it off. Alexandrov looking at building team as yeah. Paré got... Ran into there by Pascal Lacan. He's slow to get back up. Saffin will take it in. Sea Dogs have possession of the puck. Paré. Oh, he's in he's in bad shape here. Islanders will bring it back up. Hunter Drew with three on two. They'll bring it in. Drew steps to the middle. Drew fires that one right on. Rebound. Dorio fights for puck still loose. Saffin. Puck will come back in. It's ripped wide. Still four on four hockey here for 15 seconds. Hunter Drew. Throws a cross ice. P.O. Joseph was in there. The puck's just turned over. Saffin and Brett Budgel in all over top of him. Budgel makes a move. Budgel leaves it up high for P.O. Joseph for Hunter Drew. Drew fakes the shot. Drew now back to five on five hockey. We'll get it for Joseph. Joseph steps, rolls that one through right on. Dorio will make the 13 4 to go here in the second period. 19 9 shots on goal. Brent DeBorn got his prep in, tuned into the game here this afternoon in Moncton. Thanks, Brent, for taking the time, as always, to tune in here to our broadcast. A big fan. Vesteron and turnover. Alexandrov tried to pull the trigger. Alexandrov will lead it down low. Budgel trying to work it in there as well. He can't muscle it deep as Alexandrov will come back here for Charlottetown. Vesteron dancing around with the puck. Leaves it for Alexandrov. 
Alexander across the blue line. Reginato, a healthy hack on the stick. As Reginato will wind back up for the Sea Ducks. Joseph will chase him across the blue line, then throw him down to the ice. Vester Reinen wraps it around. Salda thought about stepping in the budgel. Salda will cross it for Laurent. Brought him in for. Playoff time, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, you're right. He's been working. He's been killing penalties. And right there, he's a big boy. Physical finishes his check right there. I mean, that's a difference maker. If you can use that frame and wear teams down, they can't handle them. And he had a couple real good looks here last Wednesday night against Halifax. Only a matter of time. I mean, his first game here against Rabuski, a bullet shot right off the bat as that one's off the glass, up and out of play. Make changes here. Give the Sea Dogs a bit of time. LaRose. Fish is one in to the right of Welsh. Joseph leaves it off for Budgel. Budgel lifts it out. Alexandrov in a foot race with LaRose, who gets to it. Pare, all right, back on the ice surface here for the Sea Dogs is Gentile. Will kick it for P.O. Joseph. Alexandrov touches it back for Clavel. Clavel cross ice for Joseph in front of his own goal. Alexandrov at the blue line, through for Budgel and across the other blue. Budgel makes a move. Budgel to the backhand. Budgel trying to throw it three. Puck in front, that one skipped wide by Gentile. Joseph will just roll it back down low. This has been the best line this afternoon for the Islanders. Alexandrov leaves it off for Gentile. Derek Gentile, patience with the puck, drags it up high, wrist one. That one gets redirected. LaRose chips it down low. Poirier being watched. Poirier throws it through the middle. Hunger Bueller for Pere back. Poirier trying to get around Vesta Reinen. Vesta Reinen has it for the Islanders. He'll skate it back up ice here for Charlottetown. Near side, Derek Gentile spins off a check to the blue line. Esserina can't find it. Hunter Drew in a foot race with Ostap Saf in the fourth rounder for the Edmonton Oilers. Drew will win that and he'll wind back up ice for Charlottetown. Drew across the blue line. Flips and chases. Wrap it around. Gentile. For Daniel Hardy, 39 seconds to go here in the power play. Shot that one right on through traffic, Alexandrov. Dorio didn't see it. Hardy back off for Alexandrov. Daniel Hardy, Alexandrov, bad angle shot, throws that one through the middle, catches the referee. It's to the blue line. Hunter Drew keeps it in. Drew well, working along the wall. Safin watches him. They go down low for Alexandrov. 16 seconds. Bunch of scores! Chip. He almost danced the defenseman. I mean, he's been all over it here this afternoon. Right in the slot. Look at the spin move there. I mean, they had that type of creativity. And as you said, he was falling down. He got tripped up. Watch this pass from the corner. Referee can get out of the way. What? He's going to spin here. Save is made. Good pressure there by Bailey Webster as well. As Pascal Akan reverses it back off. Alexandrov. Throws it towards the front. Alexandrov will chase in after Bailey Webster. He'll win that battle of strength. Girard, a bright spot on the back end as well. Turns it over. Here's Gentile back down the wing. Gentile fires that one. Tried to go short side. Gentile loves going upstairs short side. As it rolls all the way back into Islander zone. 43 seconds to go here. Brett Budgel up the center. will roll that one in wide. Brennan Sibley leaves it in behind the goal. Budgel. Throws a pass in front. That one gets knocked down. The beer not being cold. I go, I don't know. Bailey Webster will lift it off the glass and out through Gentile. Has it for the Islanders. Je Derek Gentile, since the cage has come off, and I knew that for the first two weeks. I mean, he, a serious eye injury. A lead pass ahead for Gentile. Skips over, but since it came off, he's when the puck's down low, he's not bobbling it anymore. And the eyes gotten better too, I think, at the same time. There's a pass in front, and Budgel looking for his second, and Dorio able to make a, a good stab with the glove. Paré waltzes his way back in. Gentile will leave it off for Alexandrov. Gentile takes it in on the near side. Gentile fires that one off the glove of Dorio. In and out. Sullivan Sparks for Gentile. Tangled up with the linesman. Had an opportunity as Vesta Reinen. In behind the goal, P.O. Joseph gets it through for Brett Budgel. He'll chip it off the boards and out. Salda will look for it. Robbie Burt send it in deep. Welsh leaves it off for Vester Reinen, his lead feed. Salda swing it down low for Nathan LaRose. Finds Reginato. 
Reginato will bring it back up. Reginato leaves it off. Here's Burt, couldn't get a clean handle on it. Fester on it, slow into him. Joseph in there at Reginato. As Reginato and Joseph chat with one another as Reginato filled in Brett Budgel. Takes no prisoners. Paul Reginato as he's hacked in behind the goal. And Vester Ryden checked that. Gentile tripped up. The Sea Dogs here still going to work. They come to the blue line. Salda. There's Reginato. Will head back to the Sea Dogs bench. Drops the glove in pain. Get a chance to see uh, the Islander Noah Dobson probably going to go in the first round of the NHL draft this summer. Our old buddy Mitchell Balmas as well. Yeah. There's Gentile. Take it back in. That one nearly turned over. This has been the best line here this afternoon for the Islanders. This is Saffin. A rolling puck. Desjardins will scoot it off. Alexander off to center. Oh, flip it deep. Bailey Webster wraps it around the boards hard. It will go all the way down. Mester Ryden waved off. Icing. Dorio is the Isles. Will back off. Here's Robbie Burt. For Redeem Salda. Ostap Safin for Robbie Burt. Burt dances around one. Burt try to get around a second. Boucher will look for it. Islanders. Brett Budgel wins that battle. Alexandrov in a foot race. Ostap Safin reverses for Salda. He has a goal in the hockey game. Salda's had a real good game here. He looked excellent the other night, too, with that shorthanded St. John team. He'll walk in. Feather one across for Saffin. Saffin back for his fellow Czech, Salda. Back for Saffin. We're back to even Strett. Salda looking for a shot. Drops it off. That shot is blocked. Islanders. Clavel ahead for Gentile. Gentile. So wise yeah, on Tuesday night. Yeah. Uh, they've added some pieces. And uh, beginning of the season, everybody thought, okay, they're going to be in the hunt in the Maritimes division. They've done themselves very well adding some talented players. And... Uh, they're all in. They put all the chips in the middle of the table right now. And we'll see if it pays off for them. Sea Dogs, Boucher will break back up. Leaves it for Reginato. Gentile, quick on the back check as Hunter Drew will wind it back up for the Islanders. Drew drops it. Gentile. Gentile, play it back in behind the goal. Drew trying to pick it up. It's Budgel who has it for the Islanders. Budgel cuts back in behind the goal. Brett Budgel to the blue line for Hunter Drew. Drew, wrist shot through traffic. Gentile was parked in front. Reginato will lift it to center. Sacco Vesteron and has it back for the outers here. 10 40 numbers for yeah. Cannons. <laughs> we'll see. As it draws down, Outers now have the one goal lead here once again. There's Gentile's long shot in the afternoon, and because they keep their feet moving. Yeah. Feet are moving all the time. The feet stop moving, you go to the stands. As Budgel will get it up out of the blue line. Clavel sent down deep. Bailey Webster chases after for the Sea Dogs. Here's Poirier for Paré. Nice little move around Budgel. They get it through for Saffin. The Sea Dogs team still has a bit of life. Ostap Saffin. Watched there by Hunter Drew. Paré comes up high for Gerard. Wrist shot. That one hit Clavel on the way through Brett Budgel. Trying to slap it off the boards, it'll get deep. Brendan Clavel hacks it, it'll come all the way around. No one knew where it went. It's all Isles, Brett Budgel in behind the Sea Dogs goal. Budgel has hit everything here this afternoon that's moved. Even some that's been standing still. It's Paray. We'll leave it back for Bailey Webster playing his final game here in Charlottetown in his Q career. Unless the Islanders and Sea Dogs meet somewhere along the playoff route, but that's highly unlikely. I'd like to know where he's going to be playing hockey next season. Mm, that's that's kind of what I'm wondering too. Yeah. You're around the AUS scene. Have you have you heard? No, I don't. But you can be sure there's a guy in Fredericton that's probably uh, inquired about him. And I'm I'm almost positive someone here in UPI is called too. Oh, I'm sure. A bouncing puck in behind yeah. Alexandrov looking for his second. Budgel has Sibley. Draped all over top of him. Alexandrov knocked down by Pare. Pare will shovel it ahead. Poirier lifts it out. 
You don't see it on a continued basis. Joseph. And behind the Islanders goal. Oh, wait. Brett Budgel gain center and will send it deep. Alexandrov chases up after it. Alexandrov tries to pass in front. Gentile in there as well as Sea Dogs turn it over. It's Gentile. Gentile tries to pass through. Gentile wrist shot. That one hit Dorio up high. Hunter Drew fires. That one knocked away by Dorio. Alexandrov will leave it in behind the goal. St. John still pressing here, trying to tie things up with 2.09 to go now in this third period. They'll send it deep. That's, that's too much ground to make to get into the 15th spot. As the Islanders spin one towards the side of the goal, and Salda leaves it around the glass. The buzzer will sound to 